Hello and welcome to Crazy Hank TV. Today we're going to talk about actors who were replaced by other actors that played the same character and there was no explanation on what happened and, and why it happened. And of course it was back in the 60s, 70s, and 80s where we, and we didn't have the internet. We couldn't go online and go, okay, what, what did this jerk do? What, what happened with this guy or you know, with this gal or whatever, whatever the case may be? We just had to accept it. And sometimes it was harder to accept than, you know, it, it, just knowing the truth probably would have helped. Now, years later, we know the truth because I have it right here in front of me. And we're going to start with the two Chris's from uh, Par the Partridge family. Now, after the first season, the first Chris, uh, played by Jeremy Gelberks, I hope I'm saying that right, he was replaced. And it, you can see both Chris's are like twins. They're like identical twins. Look at them. You know, one has dark hair and the other's a blonde. Now, I remember when it first happened, I remember because I was a big Partridge family, you know, as a, as a kid. It was the Partridge family, the Brady Bunch on Friday nights. You're watching this and after, you, I remember asking, what did they, did they, did they just change his hair color? Is he wearing a wig? What's the, what's the deal with this Chris? He doesn't look the same as the other Chris. Now, we just eventually figured out, you know, probably halfway through the season, it was a different Chris. But we didn't know why. They replaced that Chris, and the and the real reason is why they replaced him with Brian Foster, is that the original Chris, according to David Cassidy, didn't get along with the other cast members, and I think at one point I heard that Danny Bonaduce was ready to kill him, but that's the reason why he was replaced. That's what that's what David Cassidy says. Shirley Jones was a little bit more politically correct, but David Cassidy said he didn't get along with the other cast members. That's why they had to get rid of him. He was out. He was gone. He was kicked to the curb. And they brought in a new drummer, Brian Foster, to play. Like I said, again, he has blonde hair. He looks more like Shirley Jones. But, you know, you had Danny, who was a redhead. Uh, Lori and, and Keith pretty much had the same color hair. Tracy, I think, was a redhead kind of brown. I, you know, I don't know. Who, who remembers? But anyway, that's why they got rid of the original Chris. So if you've been wondering all these years, why was there two Chris's? That's why there were two Chris's. Now, the second one... Is a little confusing because, well, the actor left, came back, left, was replaced by another actor, and then came back. I'm sorry, I kind of had it mixed up there. But I'm talking about Lionel from The Jefferson. The original one was played by uh, Mike Evans. He played the first Lionel. Now, he, st he was the first one on All in the Family. He was the, if I remember correctly, he was the first Jefferson that we saw and we got to interact with. And then Wheezy came in, and then there was Uncle George, I think. Not Uncle George. George was the... Whoever the uncle was. We never saw George Jefferson, I think, until the finale, where their final episode where they left, and then the pilot started of the Jeffersons. Now, the first Lionel went to the first season, uh, played the first season of the Jeffersons. But then he left because I didn't realize this until I started this. He created, helped create, he's co-creator of Good Times. So he wanted to focus on that. He didn't have the time to do both. So he left, and then they brought in... Um, they brought in... Um, Oh, it was replaced by Damien Evans. No relations, same last name. Uh, he played for a few seats, played from 75 to 78. He was never, you know, again, we didn't know why. Why is there a different Lionel? What happened to the other Lionel? I mean, it it, it was, you know, again, we had to kind of accept it. I, I always loved the first Lionel. That was the Lionel I loved. That was the Lionel I watched um, from the All of the Family. He was my Lionel. Uh, but the other guy, he played it for three seasons. But then in 79... To 81, Mike Evans returned to play Lionel to finish out the the thing. And of course, Lionel, when he went to the Jefferson, was never a, a major character. They didn't play, he wasn't on all the time. But that's the deal with Lionel. That's why there were two Lionels. And now you know, because again, we didn't know back then what was going on. Now, the most famous switch is probably the two Darrens from Bewitch. Now, this one was crazy. People still talk about this. All, all, all of a sudden, boom, there's another There's another Darren. Now, I always thought they could have had a Dora. You know, his mother-in-law could have just changed him, you know, put, put a spell on him. And then, you know, Sam would have had to, maybe Sam saw the old uh, Darren. But, you know, anyway, just throwing it out there. Uh, but Dick York uh, played the, was hired in 1964 to play Darren. But he had suffered uh, from health problems. He had a serious back injury. He had a... A railroad car fall on him when they were filming uh, in 1959 filming the movie they came to Kodora uh, serious injuries so he had serious back pain serious health problems um, 
he fought through it. There was a lot of times he was written out of the show because he couldn't go, uh, you know, he couldn't do the acting. But in 1969, York suffered a paralyzing seizure on the set. It was taken off on a stretcher and never returned to the show. He was replaced by Dick Sargent, uh, who took over York from 1969 to 1972. Now, they look similar, but there's definitely a difference. And I know that there was a big deal. I mean, I was I was seven when this happened. So, you know, I was more concerned about the man landing on the moon than the, the two... The two uh, Darren's, but that's what that's what happened. That's what why he was replaced. That he he, he just suffered from health problems and back injuries can be devast you know devastating. And that's what the deal was. And that you know again, Dick Sargent took over for three seasons, and that's the way. We, and we had to live with it. Again, we didn't know until the internet. And that that's the beauty of the internet because now we can just look it up. Why is that person on there? Why'd they get replaced? Oh, he was a jerk to work with. So there you go. That's what we have. Thanks for watching. And we'll be back next week with something else. I'm out. Bye.